Around the World from the Women's Missionary Band, March 2017. With the vision comes the call, Go ye. Jesus said to go ye therefore and teach all nations. He gave this great commission to his church, to go ye, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. We must go into the regions beyond, carrying the full gospel into all the world. As the old hymn says, There are other lost sheep that the master must bring, and they must the message be told. He sends me to gather them out of all lands and welcome them back to his fold. To the regions beyond, I must go, I must go, till the world, all the world, his salvation shall know. Come join us on a trip to regions beyond. During Christopher Columbus's first voyage across the Atlantic Ocean, his ship ran aground and he inadvertently discovered what he called the most beautiful island in the world. This beautiful island is now called Hispaniola, located in the Caribbean island group, the Great Antilles. It is the second largest island in the Caribbean with citizens of two countries, the Dominican Republic and Haiti residing there. In the middle of July 2016, members of the Church of God from the Dominican Republic, along with pastors, ministers, and leaders from Haiti, met in national convention. The theme was, Beware of Balaam's Doctrine, from Revelations 2.14. Bishop Juan Pimentel, the national overseer, moderated the convention following the leading of the Lord. They were encouraged to hold to the truth and not doubt and question those things that have been revealed in the scriptures to the Church of God by the Holy Ghost. The merengue music was joyous and lively, and the worship was sweet and beautiful. The messages and lessons were at times given in English, interpreted into Spanish, and from Spanish into Haitian Creole. 
qui a un bagage à convoiter. Que puede tener algo esta voz eh, mirando de él. O casi en la convención. Usted puede venir en la convención. Y vi con convoitis. Y hay algo que te está persiguiendo. O a convoitar un bagaje. Está persiguiendo de algo. Le vin changer le bon sorte de envie. Il a cambiado et te a dado un deseo. Ou vin don envie. Il te da un deseo. Parce qu'on pas de côté attention. It was a great blessing to be able to meet Brother Omo from Nigeria, a friend of Bishop Ogunmola, our national overseer. Brother Omo moved to the Dominican Republic with his family a few years ago and has joined the Church of God. He is a hard-working, faithful member, ministering with the brethren on the island. Enduring Until the End, a skit by the WMB illustrated the enemy trying to stop saints from making it. Some turned back. Others made it. The Holy Ghost moved mightily. Along with several joining themselves by covenant to the body of Christ, another exciting event took place. The saints invaded the streets. The VLBs wearing their red and black vest, waving the banner of love. The WMBs dressed in white and wearing their blue capes, all paraded proudly for Christ and his church as the musicians played and members sang the praises of God. People came out of their homes to see the church of God march through the streets rejoicing in spirit and in truth. Hispaniola is a lovely island, but not more beautiful than the members of the Church of God who live and worship God in the beauty of holiness there. Keep our brothers and sisters in your prayers that they may continue to shine brightly for Christ and His Church.
Our World Mission Coordinator, Bishop Robert Hawkins, and his wife, Sister Melissa Hawkins, embarked on a 35-day trip to Asia. They were able to spend close to a month in Myanmar, also known as Burma. A large majority of Myanmar's population, between 80 and 89 percent, practices Buddhism. Close to 6 percent identify as Christian. They were able to attend and be a part of a pastor and leader conference along with visitors. They are eager to learn more, and there was a beautiful spirit felt by all. of the BTI Correspondence Courses have been translated into Burmese, and work is continuing on others. We thank the BTI Department for supporting this effort to help the saints get better rooted and grounded in the Word of God. In the early 1800s, Adoram Judson answered the mission call to Burma. Judson spent many years mastering the Burmese language. It took him 38 years to translate the Bible from Hebrew and Greek into Burmese. He spent hours studying linguistic factors and biblical commentary so as to give the exact sense to the Burmese. It is of the highest quality translation and is still being used today. We would like to thank everyone who made it possible to purchase these Bibles. Life in Myanmar Say howdy. 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 Howdy.
Unfortunately, it has become a cosmetic to some. Sweets for the sweethearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Brother Haroon from Pakistan wanted to be able to attend BTI, but was refused a visa for the second time. Continue to pray that the Lord will make a way for his entry into the United States. He was able, however, to meet them in Myanmar for encouragement and training. He was also able to preach while there and testify to the orphanage. Praise God that I'm here. Mm-hmm. It's my second time I was to another country from Pakistan. First of all, I'm happy to see that Christianity is increasing in the Myanmar. And I'm also happy to see the flag of the church here. One hand to the door. My first sight was on the church, flag of the church of God. Praise the God for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the different cultures and different languages in different countries and different areas. But we have the same God. We have the same Bible, we have the same Word of God. It doesn't matter it is available in it is in English or it is in the Burmese. The message of the Lord is the same. There are so many cultures in uh, the, all over the world. But I know my Christ. I know His love. He loves us. He loves you. He loves the people of Pakistan. He loves the people of Myanmar, I love the people of USA, and Jesus commanded us going to all the world, and preach the gospel, nobody can separate us from the love of Christ, the persecution is increasing day by day in all over the world, not increasing in Pakistan. It's increasing all over this sin. Say to these things. If God be for us. Who can be against us? When God is on our side, who can be against us? When God is standing with us, no the enemies can stand against us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. 
Who can separate us from the love of Christ? When we go to in the areas in Pakistan, they call it the restricted areas. Bible is not allowed there. You cannot bring your Bible with there. We memorize the Bible. How we keep it in the heart? No, they can snatch the Bible from us. They cannot snatch the word of God from my heart. Who can separate us from the love of Christ? The two young ladies seen here were Buddhists that Bishop Hawkins and Sister Hawkins were able to witness to. Scripture was read and they prayed with them. Afterward, they testified that they received the Lord into their heart. Praise God. Brother Mozart is a member of the church. He is very eager to learn. He is a great interest for the truth and sharing it, especially concerning the once saved, always saved error. He has devoted himself to the ministry of God. Bishop Hawkins for several years had seen this young man in one of the markets. On this trip, the Lord impressed on him to get a Bible to the young man. After praying, Bishop Hawkins and Sister Hawkins went to the market, and within five minutes, they found him. He was very happy to receive it. Please pray for him. Ching Boy is the daughter of one of our mission pastors and also a Bible college student. She came to the meetings and was touched by what she learned and is sharing with her fellow students. She has asked for more material to share with them. Hi, my name is Ting Boy and I am a Bible student and I, I, I'm involved in the charity ministry in our own church and I'm helping my father and I teach a Sunday school children every Sunday by teaching them scripture and gospel songs action song and Bible story every Sunday and I, I love children and um, uh, pray for me that uh, God will use me more in an effective way that uh, I can uh, how this, spread the gospel to uh, many people. When we were first in Myanmar five years ago, the country was under strict military rule. Visitors were monitored. They have since had democratic elections and are starting to open up more. What you are about to see is a portion of one of the largest, if not the largest, Christian gatherings in the history of the country, openly worshiping. It was a historic event. Pray for the saints and the work in Myanmar that they may continue to grow in the Lord and to spread the word that He is our all in all.
After leaving Myanmar, they were able to visit the country of Thailand. Thailand is at the center of the Indochinese Peninsula in Southeast Asia, with a population of around 66 million people. According to the latest figures, about 95% are Buddhist, with only 0.9% Christians. The trip there was in response to an invitation from Pastor Sun Tun and his congregation. Around 60 years ago, an American Christian holiness missionary came through the rural hometown of Pastor Sun Tun. His father, who was a very worldly man, was the first to be converted in that area. His family soon came to Christ, and the message of salvation spread. Pastor Sun Tun was once a member of the former organization. He wanted to know if the real church was still functioning and was glad to hear the good news that she is alive and well. The good news talk about you many things, right? He said, oh, good Pastor Sun Tan, many, many, good things. Uh, many good things, right? <laughs> about the blessing, about the ministry in Myanmar and also ministry in uh, USA. And I'm very, oh Lord, please, please. Please let him come to visit the small, small church like this one. And finally, God answered my prayer. And right now, you come to visit us and visit my family, my daughters, and also my church member. It's the blessed, the blessed, the blessed, and blessed for us. This morning, I feel very, very happy in my life because uh, the special guest. Uh, come and will share about the words of God. And in the name of Jesus, I would like to welcome Pastor Robert Harkin. There was good fellowship had with Pastor Sun Tun, his wife, daughter, son-in-law, and others. He stated that especially in the golden years of his life, he wants the truth for himself, his family, and the souls he cares for. He has asked us to send him more of our literature and desires the mission department to help him via video conferences as he studies through these materials. The congregation responded well to the Spirit. The preaching and teaching of the Word on sin, repentance, sanctification, holiness, and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The altar was filled with sincere seekers, Pastor Sun Tun proclaimed, The denominational world doesn't preach sanctification anymore, and they skip it. Now they are saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. We are thankful that he sees this error. The worship was very humble.
While looking at our literature, Pastor Sonton picked up the tract on feet washing. He held it up and asked, Do you still believe this? Bishop Hawkins and Sister Hawkins gladly proclaimed, Yes. And he then excitedly declared, Tomorrow we will do this. On Sunday morning, Bishop Hawkins administered the Lord's Supper and conducted a feet washing service. There was a wonderful, sweet, and reverent spirit throughout the entire time. The congregation participated with happiness, as the scriptures declared they would. Pastor Sunton is a local pastor in a fellowship of several pastors and local congregations in Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. He has invited us to return for several days of teaching and training with the hope of establishing the Church of God in these countries. We have a great and wonderful responsibility, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. When you pray, please remember those other sheep in Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos, that they may receive the full gospel. Bishop Hawkins will be visiting Ethiopia and Tanzania with Bishop Mbogo, the National Overseer. This will be General Headquarters' first visit to these countries since the reorganization. Bishop Patrice Columba, National Overseer of Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of Congo, and Cameroon has a contact in Gabon, Africa, that he would like to visit with Bishop Hawkins as soon as the Lord opens the door. We also have a contact in Sweden, a Spanish-speaking brother that was a part of us some years ago in the former organization. He is originally from Chile. They had a happy and tearful Holy Ghost overseas phone call, and we are looking to visit him when he is ready. He has been visiting our website regularly. We have sent him materials, and he is hoping to come to the General Assembly. God is moving and working around the world in regions beyond. Continue to pray. We never know who we are going to meet and just how far our contacts will go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Gabriel, and um, I'm so so happy and so glad to to speak a few words about my testimony. Um, uh, I born in Lebanon, and I lived in Jordan um, long, long time ago, and I've been in the United States for over 25 years, and um, so I speak Arabic, uh, as you all know, in Middle East, uh, and also speak English and. Uh, uh, I like to say uh, a few words about uh, my testimony that I got saved when I was uh, 13 years old as uh, in Catholic uh, background family, and then um, I moved to we moved to Jordan because of civil war, and uh, I met the Lord there, and then um, I felt in the spirit when I was there also uh, before I came to United States uh, as baptism of the Holy Spirit. In Jordan so praise the Lord God uh, God kept working in my life when I was a little kid to uh, to when I came to United States and from there uh, I've been here 25 years and I was searching to serve the Lord more and to uh, to, uh, to to do more to the Lord because he gave me so much Amen. and uh, uh, and this is the, the key of um, of my, I, I search everything, even started before in the businesses, when did not satisfy me, it started in studies, but still have the, the zeal and the desire to, uh, to serve the Lord uh, fully. Especially, I feel like um, I have so much from the Lord, give it to me, and also uh, my people and nation, waiting uh, for us to, to speak the word. So from that point, uh, 
uh, finally, uh, after searching, searching, actually, uh, last uh, two, two, three months, last year, yes. um, I was searching the net about the churches and uh, appeared Church of God. I, I, I searched also the doctrine and teaching. I said, this is the closest where I believe. I've never seen a uh, doctrine of the churches uh, as the Church of God, believing in the Holy, Holy Spirit baptism and the holiness. Especially the holiness, I said, wow, this is what I'm really uh, desire to, to be holy, especially in, in the United States. So, Amen. praise the Lord. I met uh, Pastor Robert from there and uh, the church. And now we're taking the doctrine of the church and we are so excited. We're so happy. Um, we have a goal to, uh, my goal is to reach the Middle East back. Uh, country after country by the help of, of God and Amen. by the grace of God in the name of Jesus we can do it together pray for us God is good God is awesome he's awesome God in the name of Jesus Amen Amen, Amen. Why?